guys, thank you so much for watching another video. I am going to be filming my September favorites and I cannot believe we are already getting into October. This is so crazy to me. So it's going super, super fast. Um, but anyway, I am excited because fall is my favorite season. And that's just because then you get Thanksgiving and the holidays with Christmas and everything. So, and time away from work, which is always nice. But um, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. It's been a super long day. Um, it's Sunday. It's football day at my house. And um, we have family over and I'm cooking. And um, I snuck in here <laughs> to do this video. Um... And yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day or night or whatever time of day you're watching this. Um, I am going to, let me go ahead and start with some brushes. Um, I have a full review on these Sonia Kashuk brushes. And some of them are clean and some of them are dirty. I have cleaned them since, um, a couple times actually. And I will link that video down below in case you're interested in watching the review um, video that I did on these. I really do like them. I absolutely love the quality of her brushes and the variety that they give you. Um, since I purchased these, I have not used any other um, brushes. So I really, really like these. Um, I will just give a quick update. The When I did the initial um, review, some of the brushes were kind of bent because of the packaging, and I was really um, upset with that, but I cleaned them, and they actually, they're, per they're perfect now. They're just regular, and um, they turned back. And the, the ones I'm showing you are obviously the ones that were um, bent on there. So anyway, but these are really, really nice. And I'm still out looking for these at Target because I actually want to buy another set for Christmas for a gift. So anyway, um, I really love these brushes. And if you can get your hands on them, I would totally recommend them to you. Okay, we'll go ahead and go into whoops. Um, I have a few lipsticks here. Is that it? Yes. Okay. And the first one that I have on my lips is the Melted Berry by Too Faced. And I really like the new lipsticks, um, or these lip colors that Too Faced came out with. So, I was not a fan of the original colors. I had purchased almost all of them, and I returned them. I did not like them, um, but the new ones I did, except for the violet one from the original one. So anyway, I, um, I've been wearing Melted Berry, which is a beautiful color, and then I've also, and it's probably like all my up because I've had this on all day. Um, Melted Fig is such a beautiful color as well, and there it is on there and then obviously you can see the red one on me it's more like a berry like it says and then some matte lipsticks this is such a beautiful color if you're into the 90s lip craze right now it's right there and this is from Lorac it is called Goddess and it is their alter ego alter ego lipstick so it's really really pretty matte finish and I kind of just dabbed this on my lip so really nice and then um, I also have been loving Brave and this is a satin it is right here and I wear Brave with Myth because Myth on me is like I look like a corpse <laughs> it's right there it's really nice um, and then I just put Myth on the center after I outline my lips and it's really pretty and I like it. Okay, and then some we'll move to concealer. So um, I know I just spoke about these in a recent haul that I will also link be below if you're interested in watching that. And I mentioned the um, NYX concealers and I really like them. They are really inexpensive, very creamy, and um, you can blend them really nicely. So the colors that I use together is yellow 
and porcelain. And porcelain I obviously use to brighten underneath my eyes. So I really, really like that. And a pigment from MAC is Melon. And this was a purchase I did last month. And I really, really love it. I love this on the lid. And um, I feel like this color is going to be really nice for fall. But again, I wear these colors year round. I don't care if it's fall, summer, spring. It's just, it's such a nice color. And then on the crease with that melon, I have really been loving an un uninterrupted, a combination with that. Now, uninterrupted is one of my favorite, favorite um, eyeshadows from MAC, and I absolutely love this. This is an, uh, like a just an all-time favorite, but this one is new, and it's Natural Wilderness, and it is so beautiful. I love that. Like, it is just so pretty, and I'm totally obsessed with these colors, so. Okay, um... I was debating on mentioning this product because I'm not sure um, what collection it came with and I've had it for a while and you know MAC always re-releases um, their products and stuff but I really like this. It is called Flower Fantasy and it's a face powder and the reason I like it is because and it has like a little bug there. It's real, a ladybug. It's really cute. It's the, um, I use this for highlight and then that one is a I use for more of a blush if you can see that and then that's the highlight I don't think you'll see the blush but that's the highlight there and it's really really nice I really like that so okay and then um, a Milani baked bronzer number 04 in glow I am so, so in love with this color. It's so pretty, and I really, really like it. So, really inexpensive, too. Sorry, my nose is itching. Um, a couple blushes. I think I have mentioned this one before. It's from MAC. It's called Breath of Plum. I have been wearing the heck out of this blush um, for the whole month of September, actually. And recently, I had purchased... The, this is um, from MAC as well, and it is Relaxation. It's a um, casual color lip and cheek, and I love this on your lips. However, um, what I've also been doing is putting this as a base on my cheeks, and then I um, put the Breath of Plum on top, and it's just really, really nice. And the brush that I actually like for this is the MAC 128. It's a dual sided one and you can tell because I just used it. So, but I really like that. But these are really nice. This is really, really nice too for your lips. And another blush. It was from the Simpsons collection and it's called whew, Pink Sprinkles. And although it's not very highly pigmented, um, I like it because it is kind of subtle. It still gives you color on your cheeks, at least for me it does. And I like it with all the bright um, colors that I'm wearing on my lips. So it's really nice, and I just think the packaging is super cute. Um, I don't feel like you really need this, but um, I do actually like it. And it's pink, which you can never have too many pink blushes, right? Okay, and this is an oldie but goodie. I have actually been wearing this palette for, I want to say, August and September. And it is from Too Faced. It's a few of my favorite things. And this was such a great palette. It was a limited edition, but the colors in here are so nice. I have been loving, um, well, I love all of them, but Chocolate Milk, um, Woolen Mittens, and then this really dark Express. It's dark chocolate. Also, um, this color here, and then that one there. I mean, they're all really nice. And, oh, my gosh, this one is one of my favorites. But it's right there. If you can see that. But I really, really like this. And then it has my favorite... Um, bronzer which is the chocolate soleil and then sun bunny is really nice and then the 
um, powdered blushes are there too, but the eyeshadows, I have just been using this for the last couple months. And then um, when I purchased the, what is this, Wild Natural Wilderness, I started using this in combination with that. So, yes, I think that is all. And I have recently gone to Sephora and I've, um, I'm not going to do a haul video, um, but I've purchased new items that I'm really excited. Um, check me out on Instagram. Follow me if you um, would like. I am actually more active on Instagram. And I'm going to post a picture of the items that I purchased. And I want to try to do a video of like first impressions of me trying some of these um, items because I think that would be kind of a nice video. So if I can get my actual camera to do the video um, I will try to do that video up next and anyway um, have a great day thank you so much for watching my video and if you haven't subscribed please do so and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys